Now, just talking about fertiliser, we've already said how clever plants are at assimilating nutrients, um, but it requires energy, and the, you know, the, the nutrients are taken up as ions, so they have, they're charged particles. If you apply calcium nitrate, um, the nutrients are taken up as calcium and as nitrate separately. So if you over-apply a fertiliser, say too much potassium or too much nitrogen, you'll affect the uptake of the other nutrients as well. So balance is the key. Irrigation is key, key to a healthy crop, managing your irrigation, getting it even, not overwatering in cool periods. Um, but you classically see iron deficiency in, in, cool, in cool temperatures, uh, in early spring, you know, when the plants are sitting wet. But it, it's something that you can be aware of. And if you apply too much fertiliser, it, it'll leach out. So it, it's all about the balance. Um, but actually in practice, you know, growing plants, you know, what, what, what lessons can we learn from this and how can we apply it? Um, obviously, you can apply some osmocote and it has a big effect, but how much do you apply and to suit your crop and your conditions? And the only thing that influences the release is the type of material you use for the coating, the thickness of the coating, and the average soil temperature. The release is not affected by the pH or microorganisms or anything like that. Um, so it makes it very easy to predict the release and work on rates. We produce different products with different long longevities. The, the key part to, to, to the early development of Osmocote was different thicknesses. So a three to four month product has a thinner coating than a 12 to 14 month product, but it releases four times as fast. So you need to understand the rates. So if you're using a 12 to 14, you need to use more than if you're using a three to four month product. And this is Osmocote Exact. This is one of our third generation products. It's a unique product. Um, it's a blend of granules that have been tested for their release so we can tell you exactly what the release pattern is and it's something that we can simulate on your nursery so we can use your climate data or temperature data and, and produce some release curves for you and compare what we think the best rate would be or the best longevity and we're constantly improving Osmocote we're in the fourth generation now we do lots of tr trials every year and, and we looked at release from lots of, of controlled release fertilizers and we saw that Quite a lot of them released a lot at the start. And when we compare that to the plant demand, um, the solid green line shows you the rising plant demand from a plant. After you pot it, it puts some roots out, then it starts to grow and it needs more nutrition. But at the start, there isn't a huge demand for nutrients. And that nutrient at the start is going to cause stress to the plant, more likely to get root diseases, but, but critically it's going to leach out of, out of the grow media, which is not a good thing. Um, so we looked at... Our standard osmocote, which is the green curve, has a nice release. You don't get any deficiency there, but it's still a little bit high at the start. And we looked at ways of trying to reduce the initial release. And we came up with a new technology called dual coating. So we took standard osmocote granules um, and we coated them with a wax coating. And that meant that we could delay the release by two to three months. And this gave us a product that you could use over winter that wouldn't release anything. Even in a, a soft tunnel when it got hot, it wouldn't release you know, for safety because you don't want soft growth in the winter. We then developed the idea and came up with the idea of, of a high-end product, which basically we take 25% um, coated granules, double-coated granules, and mix them with ordinary osmocote. And then we can delay the release of 25% of the granules at the start, but get, get more later. And this is the, um, the red curve is a standard osmocote release. And then the blue curve shows you the, the first two months is lower and then an increased release later. And this is, this, is, this is really clever because you're applying the same amount of fertiliser but, you, but you're conserving the initial fertiliser for later in the crop when the crop needs it. And you get better results, better quality, better leaf colour um, and, and it's more efficient. But how do we manage this on the nursery? We have a unique bit of software called Angela Web. Um, it has over 900 crops on the system um, and we're able to um, take into account the crop's nutritional needs the water quality and the quantity you apply, the growing media nutrition, um, the local climate, 
and whether any osmocote or water soluble um, products have been applied or, or to tell you if they do need to be applied. Um, we work on the temperature data, local temperature data or a climate computer on the nursery um, and then we can show what the release would be for any potting date. So we can simulate one of, you know, we can simulate a potting, uh, say a fatinia, and we can look at, you know, when the target sales date is, and we can show a release with, with different products. We can look at a five to six month or an eight to nine. We can look at standard products or high end products, and we can really tailor it to, you know, to your crop to get the best out of the crop um, at the lowest rate uh, for, the, for the most efficiency. Um, but we're next. We're not standing still. We're looking at the next generation of Osmocote. Um, the fifth, fifth, fifth generation, we're doing trials at the moment, but, it, but we won't release it for a few years yet because we have to be sure that it's better than what we've got. In the last year, we've up updated the Osmocote Exact high, high K and we've introduced the double coating technology into the product. Again, using 25% double coating and we're able to delay the release of some of the potassium until later in the crop. This is giving us a nice compact crop with, with lots of you know, enhanced flowering. So you get, you, you get a really good quality. So again, the same amount of fertilizer, just positioning when it releases so that it suits the crop. And we're able to do that by tweaking the analysis, um, getting, a, getting a better um, release of the phosphate so we can reduce the phosphate amount and then increase the potassium. Because there's only so much room in the granule. You can, there's only so much you can pack into the granule. So a little bit of tweaking and a bit of science and we're able to do that. So this is Osmocot Calmag. This is a unique product. Um, it's a three to four month product, giving you release of calcium, magnesium and nitrogen. It can be a very good um, product to use with peat free products, um, in, in soft water systems, just to give you that extra release of calcium and magnesium every day. Um, and it's separate from the irrigation. So you don't have to apply more water when the crop doesn't need it. It's been constantly released. And calcium is very important. It's required all the time. Um, you know, it, it's built into the cell walls, so the plant can't move it from another part of the plant. It needs it in the water all the time. So, you know, good irrigation is important, you know, to get the nice flow of calcium through the plant. But a good supply is important if you've got soft water, peat reduced systems, and some crops like poinsettias demand a lot of it. But adding calcium has, has lots of other benefits. As I say, it's, it's used in the cell walls, but if, if you have good levels of it, you, you, you can get really strong leaves. Um, and we've done quite a lot of trials um, with things like laurels, um, you know, that can suffer with some leaf spots and things like that. And, and by having optimum levels of, of, um, of calcium, you can, you can really improve the growth of them and the health of the plants. Um, and it's particularly apparent with buxus. If you've got a healthy, strong plant, you're less likely to get some of these fungal leaf diseases coming in. Osmocote iron is another new product that we have. Um, you know, when I talk to growers, it's one of the biggest deficiency symptoms I see. Uh, this yellowing in the new growth, um, classically caused by high pH, maybe high pH of water, but also if you start putting UV systems in, you can destroy some of the chelates in, in, in the irrigation system. Um, iron uptake is through the root tips and it can be very slow in cool conditions. So some crops need, need additional supply. But again, pH is critical, um, too high, and, and you almost guarantee you're gonna get iron deficiency. But bringing it all together, um, you know, you can use the Osmocote for, for, the, for your core needs, but we can advise on using extra fertilisers like Peters and Universal. Um, there's lots of combinations possible using Osmocote Exact, High End, Protect, High K and Pro. So we're working on lots of different crops at the moment, so we'll have a new brochure out that will have lots of these crop tables in. But equally, we're happy to talk to you individually and, and give you specific advice. We have a bewildering range of products, but there's a, there's a place for all of them, I can assure you. A new product for next year is a bluing agent for um, hydrangeas, just like the ones outside. It's a coated aluminium sulphate with a three to four month release. So you can apply it into the growing media and then not need, need to apply any more aluminium sulphate. So really clever products. Um, we're looking forward to getting it. Thank you very much and um, enjoy the day.